Hey everybody, I'm Nicole Ricky and I am not rolling out. I am flying to Spain. Check out this vlog. Good morning. I don't know exactly what day of my vacation it is, but it's nearing the end. And I took a bus this morning from Madrid to Toledo. And here I am outside, okay, let me remember the name of the gate, Puerta del Cambrón. And it is really exciting because this is the Jewish quarter gate. So I just spoke to the most lovely lady. Let me try and show you this map. Here we go. Okay. Eh, I'm in the plans. Okay. So I just spoke to the most lovely lady at the tourism office and she kind of explained to me the history of the city and laid out the map of the city for me and drew almost look at all this that she drew with different colors a map to walk around she showed me the free different the free museums all of this stuff so i'm so excited to spend the day it's already i believe it's almost 11 which is crazy because i did get an early start this morning latoy had an alarm clock i think set for 7 50 7 50 because she had class this morning so I woke up and left with her and I took two different metro trains to get to the Plaza de Elliptica and then took an also bus from there to Toledo, which was about an hour. And I've been here for a half an hour, kind of walking around, very happy that I found this tourism place. Anyways, here's what I know. The Jews actually came here after the destruction of the temple in 586 BC uh, by Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylonian emperor, king, whatever. So they've been here for so long and there are now a Jewish, Muslim, and Christian quarter, what, similar to the old city of Jerusalem. So the walls are still here. The gate that I showed you is not original just kind of like in Jerusalem they build 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 on top as things get old and fall apart whatever so yeah I'm standing outside the gates of the old city and I'll be walking around the Jewish Muslim and Christian quarters and going to the different museums and yeah I'm I'm very excited to spend my day in Toledo tomorrow today's Friday I have Saturday Sunday I leave so got to make the most of my last few days it's crazy that I'm walking around and it's what did I say 10 a.m is it 10 it's almost 11 maybe 10 or 11 I, I, I can't tell the time right now but nothing is open Spain is such a city of nightlife I took a walk last night I think between 10 and 11 first of all I feel very safe in Madrid to walk around by myself because it's so busy there's so many people and when I walk around at 10 or 11 in the morning, everything's closed. There's no one around. It is insane what a night, nightlife city, Spain, nightlife country, but also city Madrid, Toledo, everywhere I've been, Barcelona, everywhere I've been is awake at night. And it's just totally different than what I'm normally used to, especially as I'm living out of a van. I'm sunrise to sunset. Sunset, my day is over. Sunset, it seems like the day has just begun. They wake up for them siesta and they're ready to party all night. So I think I'll be able, I'll, I'm just gonna push through these next couple days and enjoy all that I can. Anyways, let's get started. I'm going to head, so I'm gonna head through the gate and to, there's a monastery. I wanna go to the synagogue. And then also um, El Greco, there's a museum of him because I believe he grew up here. He's a famous painter, I think. El Greco. I definitely read about him in school at some point. So I'm excited to go there. Woohoo! By the way, it is after 11 and this is San Martin's Bridge. I think. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm currently in the cellars of the Jewish Quarter. It says here, I'm reading about them, that they are the sole remains erected from the Jewish Quarter in the 14th century. The sole remains that have survived from the palace that was in the Jewish Quarter. And this is the El Greco Museum. El Greco apparently built his house over these cellars. Very cool. This is a book from 1516, and it was El Greco's.
I've been walking around pretty hungry and haven't really found much, but I just found a winning pastry filled with cream coated in sugar. This one, I can't tell you much because the sign is in Spanish, but they're the Thermas Romanas de Amor de los Rios, Roman baths. All right, I'm hoping this is the best $4 I've ever spent. I just got some lunch at this little bakery with a line, and here's what we got. This is like a puff pastry with chicken and leek in it. And then these are like little mini hot dog things. There's three different kinds. I got one of each. So let's see how they are. I'm hoping it's good. There was a line both times I walked by. And I also have the best view ever. Sitting in front of the big church. So I've been inside the walls of the old city of Toledo most of today, but I just exited and now I'm at the Roman Circus of Toledo and here it is. Let's go. Now it's just a park inside. Now I'm back in the old city in the Alcazar de Toledo, which is an old building that is now turned into a military museum. But look at the views outside the window. I think this will be the last stop of my day. It's called Mirador de la Valle, which I think means near to the valley. Not quite sure, but here's the valley. And here's the beautiful view. I think it means mirror. Maybe because the river goes around the city, so it's like mirroring each other on each side. Pretty cool. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that, crazy. So I was in that building. That's the museum, war museum slash, also it's a library. And then the city, the walls, the river. What a beautiful day. It is currently windy. Can you hear the wind? It's 5.30 p.m. And I have about a half an hour walk back to the bus station and then about two hours of travel back to Madrid because I'll take the ALSA bus, which I'll be on for about an hour, and then catch two trains, metro trains, from Plaza Elliptica to Puerto del Sol, then walk to La Toy's house and I should be back. What time? I guess it'll be about 8 p.m. So yeah, hopefully I'll be back by 8 p.m. Bye. Bye.